man. Grrr. Bow, man. We back at it with another one, man. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I released the video yesterday at, at, uh, talking about Gunner, man. Apparently, he got free. He copped out to a plea ag agreement with the state. It's called a, a, a alpha plea or some shit like that. To me, I said, beforehand, I even knew what was going on. I said, Gunner ain't tell. I'm a, I'm a firm believer. I didn't think Gunner told. Uh, watch. It was a video that surfaced after that talking about some. Because, uh, you know, when you if, if you didn't know, when you take a plea... It's, it's usually a mission of guilt, maybe in some form or fashion, but usually it's a mission of guilt. And he had to, it's two things that caught everybody's eye that he uh, admitted to, but he had to in order to take the plea, which was uh, admit to the fact that, yes, YSL is a gang. Uh, also that the drugs that was found in the car with him and Thug, the, the guns and the drugs, not his. So it's kind of like, nah, it's not mine. But... It's almost like Drossin is your kind of point, like, you know what I'm saying, pointing the elbow, not the finger type shit. So some people took it like that and uh, many other things. But, yeah, those those were one of the two few things that caught everybody's attention. Uh, do I think Gunna Snitch? I don't know, because the shit that's going on right now, if you if you know, it looked crazy. Like he took a plea. Then the other guy, then another guy who apparently who created YSL back in 2012 with Thug took a plea. Now, Thug is. A couple hours ago, he was in the courthouse making an appearance. Uh, so it's like, I don't know. This could be this could be some shit where it's like it was put in motion in order to get everybody free or at least get the main guys free. You know what I'm saying? But I, I have no clue, man. Only time to tell. It looked crazy for Gunner, though. It's looking like he snitched, if I got to be honest. Uh, it looked like he did not necessarily told per se, like, Hey, this guy did that. That guy did that. But more or less, like, draw a snitch. Like, nah, I, I didn't do it. I don't know. It's, it's it's five niggas in this car with me, but I didn't do it. Elbow pointing type shit. But hey, man, I'm not in the street, so I don't fucking know. Just get right into it. It's gonna a snitch. Hmm. Look. Man, what happened? Yeah. Gonna has ended his. Gunna has ended his months long incarceration by pleading guilty to a racketeering conspiracy charge in the YSL Rico case. Gunna entered a pre negotiated plea known as an Alfred plea Wednesday uh -huh. and was sentenced to five years with one year commuted for the time he was in there for. Yeah, that's the crazy part. We got to go through all this or? Th that, that fool is pushing pleas. Look, and, yeah, in I'm my opinion, bro, if thing. you ever been on a case with more than one person, and when one person pleads, it kind of affects everybody else's case. Because it can't, we're wait, not to come off, but it can. It's a toss up. It can. But apparently a part what well, was a part of the Alfred plea is like, yeah, if they call him to the stand, he has to testify. But he could obviously plead. He could obviously plead the fifth. You feel me? But at the same time, it's also it's an admission of guilt. But it's also it's also not. It's a weird It's. This is all new to us. You feel me? If any of you niggas, we're, we're, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not even going to say I act like a nigga is a lawyer because I'm not. But it's like, apparently it can't it can't be used against everybody else in, in the court. So, like, him pleading out, it, a pet, quote, unquote, I'm not sure. But what they said was it won't affect Thug's case or anybody else's. That's what I've been hearing. But it could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm just letting that be known that that's what also what I heard. We're kind of supposed to be fighting that we weren't here. We not guilty. We don't know nothing. And then you just admitted to being yeah, here. Most, mm -hmm. So it's like, we're your crime. So nigga, we had to be here too. Mm -hmm. You exactly. get what I'm saying? It's it's, I, I, I guess you can't call it direct snitching, but I think we got to be able to see whose attorneys can use this or if the DA can use him pleading against everybody else. Exactly. I feel like it's when we'll see if he's a snitch yeah. or not. But right now, to me, you took a plea deal. You agreed that YSL is a gang and they're trying... To they, try to, they've been pushing for this whole time for this that YSL game. just a music group, just a record label, and you just yeah. played that it's a gang. So in a statement, Gunna says that he didn't think YSL as a gang in 2016 when his rap career began to pop off and only focused on the entertainment aspect. And again... Another thing about Gunner, not to cut shorty off, but 
I won't say Gunner is like a gangster rapper, no shit like that. He mainly talked about fly shit, maybe taking drugs, maybe like, you know what I'm saying, a little gangster shit, but he mainly, mainly popped the shit about being rich and fly shit, you know what I'm saying, and everything else. Not really too much niggas slide and niggas got the 30s and all this, niggas is getting hit in the head and all that crazy shit, name dropping. So, I'm not going to say he not street, but he never really portrayed like a super tough, super gangster nigga, like on some, yeah, I'm a gangster, but like. Like, I'm a gangster, but I'm a quiet, chill nigga, don't push me type shit. Like, that's kind of the vibe you get from Gunna and his music. Yeah, and obviously, apparently, he's a crip, too. That's what that's allegedly. Don't know. This is what's being said. Even if it was so messed up, (laughs) what's so messed up about this is that the whole time they've been trying to prove YSL is a gang, and everybody has been standing on the stand saying YSL is a label. Mm -hmm. He just Mm -hmm. literally acknowledged that YSL is is a gang. gang. And And that's that's the part that's making people think that son snitched, because it's like the prosecutor and all of these guys, the DA, they want us to be known as a gang. And we're standing on it saying, we got exec labels and all these other people coming in and saying, nah, this is not a gang. It's a label. And then you take a plea agreement and you have to agree. A part of your plea is, oh, yeah, this is a gang. Yes, they commit violent acts and all of that and all of that on behalf of the the so-called label slash gang. And now that's when niggas is like, nah, that's telling. You know what I'm saying? It's It's funny, bro. Oh, it's very funny, bro. First one to plea out? This, this is not, yes. He was, This yeah. is no? not. He was. The first one of the artists. Like, mm. the, yeah. Oh, okay. First, okay, like, okay, okay. major, you, you know. Yeah, one of the, but first one of, of all, like, of, we, the, the Gunna's pause. never one of the, been them guys. considered a street dude or whatever. Exactly. But regardless, you're a part of this organization, whether or not you're a part of, like, the she, alleged gang. Hold on. She fire. Who is this? She fire. Gang, you're a part of this label. You've been profiting off of their activities, and here you are. You, if you if you don't want to call it dry snitch, it's somewhere in between dry snitching and blatant snitching. Mm-hmm. Let's call it moist snitching. Hey yo, because him acknowledging that Boy, it's a boy. gang is nah. I ain't gonna call it moist. It's dry snitch, man. Like, just just call it that. Literally providing. <laughs> trying to make yeah. new shit up. The, they them stop with the shit. evidence Ooh. to stop make that. this a Rico and bury everybody. Now let's look at a um. Let's give an analogy of a hypothetical scenario of essentially what. And he literally kind of did this because he said that the guns and the and the the gun and the drugs. That's the part I was talking about at the beginning. Yeah. It's not his. his. Now, but it's only me, one. Let's it's say only two me, other Josh, people in the car with Gina, him. and Almighty and Vastai are driving. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have. Wait. <laughs> everyone just saw that. <laughs> That's all right. What, did, what, did, did everybody I, in the chat was talking about why she's so fucking close to Lush. So she tried to scoot over and banged her shit with the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Big ass head <laughs> with your cranium. <laughs> All right, Lush. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, let, yeah, you know, gr- girls with big heads is it's a sign of beauty, right? Like and good pussy. Oh, sure. Alleg- yeah. allegedly, hey, allegedly, whoa. allegedly. Yeah, well, that's that's a conversation. All this is alleged conversation. But hey, yo, slide him. I'm about to find out her grand is not going to lie. <laughs> Shouldn't me. Allegedly. Fire. Now, um, let's say let's say I got drugs on me. We get pulled over. Allegedly. Vast die. Yeah. And obviously, um, you know, he, he wanted to go home. Mm-hmm. He wanted to come home. He's not he's not built for the for the jail cell and all that. I'll say mm-hmm. this, dude. Is he a snitch? Well, if the blouse fits. That nigga took that bite of that Italian beef and Pepsi, nigga. Yeah, he it's wasn't bad. He wasn't feeling it. Gunna says he's looking forward to giving back to his community and wants to that was that's the statement. he wants the youth. To know that gangs, gangs and are violence are getaways to their destruction, gateways to gateways, their destruction. Yeah, I was about to say I getaways. Mean, that makes sense. Again. All right, telling ass nigga, just say it all. Oh, that- shit, niggas, niggas, funny too. They talking about gunning out a uh, snitch. He's a truth teller. That is crazy. I thought, I think, that, I thought that was a uh, crime stopper, uh, <laughs> crime stopper reference, but I think they just made that up. That's tough. That's that's typical. That's Listen, like I don't the know. Same- and, and I'm pretty sure he had the same you? lawyer that T.I. had. Oh, oh, that um, that don't look good. All right, right. I'm gonna tell you, I don't look good because T.I. did the 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 crime stopper shit too, and then Gunna did the crime stopper shit too, or, or some shit like that. And for that dude to represent you, you it, come on, <laughs> it's already a play. They already thought Gunna was a snitch from the beginning of this shit. I ain't gonna lie, they were saying Gunna was gonna tell because of the crime stopper shit. So then, for you get the same lawyer as. 
It's crazy shit, bro. Not a good look. It's Although Ti didn't snitch in that situation, he told on the dead nigga. Yeah, he did. No, no, the previous, <laughs> the previous case. Oh, okay, my yeah, bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. The previous, but yeah, that was crazy. And, and and then that that's another, that's another situation. That might have been some shit though. It's still telling, but he told on the dead nigga. So it's like, would you? Would, I'm pretty sure your dead man's would be like, all right, let nigga just put it on me, so you ain't in this bitch for life. Cause Ti was about to go down. He's about to go down for a minute. Yeah, I remember that shit. I was young as hell. I was hearing about that shit. I was a li- reading a little bit about it. Not really reading. All right, I'm chatting. Niggas was, my uncles and them was, you know what I'm saying, talking about shit they ain't supposed to be talking about around me and shit was on TV. Nigga was in the news. He was about to go down for a minute behind that shit. Um, my mama you- told me last night, if I die, you better tell the police them was my guns. And I was like, mama, that's telling. No cap. Oh, God. If I die, though, but it is for sure, you, you were, any of y'all could say whatever y'all did. I'm not me. doing that. You, you can though. You, you, you got a legacy to live for. I just feel like that's tarnishing your name after you go. I mean, not don't really, put that on his name. As didn't do long that. as it's not a sex crime, I'm personally not tripping. Yes. I feel but that. But that's why you saying if it's something that's tarnishing your name, then yes. don't. Sex even crime if it's, even in over. general though, like mm-hmm. don't put an extra gun case on this man's name. Like it, it, even though that ain't shit, still I'm just mm-hmm. not with putting nothing on. Like you know what I'm saying? Just take your shit, bro, to the chin. It is what it is. Did you guys see that um, his sister, thug sister, so asked she wasn't everybody? Happy? Yeah, asked everybody to stop calling Gunna a snitch because it's not helping thug at all. No, because um, the implication, if you call him a snitch, that's implying that thug actually did something. Right. That they really are a Rico. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? If, if okay. he's just I never looked at it like unquote, that. Co- that. That is very. That is very true as well, because. These at the end of the day, they plead in their innocence, bro. They, and he's supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. Even though I ain't gonna speak on statistics, but most of the time that's not really true. Niggas going in with the intentions of nigga, you guilty, you gotta fight that you innocent. It's like prime example. Okay, they 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 caught the, I ain't gonna get into it, but they caught they caught Gunner with some with some with some some shit that was that was I think it was on his purses, the little the tent situation. It was like a car trailing him. It was, but it was nothing on on his purses besides the legal tent. But they still somehow that was a way of them getting him, like, you know what I'm saying, indicted almost. But it's like, bro, if they want you, they want you, bro. It's just that simple, type shit. Like. Cooperating or, like, th- but using the word snitch implies, yeah, that implies that he's telling on what they're actually doing, exactly, as opposed mm-hmm. to just trying to get free. Mm-hmm. True, I would agree. Regardless, mm-hmm. regardless, it's not looking good for Gunna now. Would it's y'all not, continue to slap Gunna's music knowing he's a snitch? Uh, I'm not a street dude. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I listen to Gunna, not heavily though. Like, he'll come on and I'll bump his shit for sure. But his old shit, like the sold out dates and all those all those songs, fire. That's when I was really heavy into Gunna. I haven't really been that super heavy into Gunna. Obviously, in some years, that's those songs. It's old. Not old as hell, but like a couple years old. They come on, I still bump them. And again, he didn't. We don't really know what's going on. It looked crazy right now, but we getting bits and pieces of the situation. Same thing with like Megan and all of them. So we getting bits and pieces, man. Let's see what's really going on, man. Y'all, let me know how y'all feel about this shit, man. More content coming soon, man. Free thug, man. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Share this shit with your moms, your aunt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Favorite side nigga and all that. So you know what I'm saying? Show the show the kids some, show the boys some love, man. All right, but we out here, man. Grrr, bow.